five lines. Now another white one, and then the raspberry top. Playing brass in the orchestra, what stands out is the bold bits. You sit there for 20 minutes, and then one note, which is extremely loud, and in a range you would normally not resort to. <laughs> and then another 20 minutes rest. So you are listening to classical music. I don't do that much these days. Um, I've got so little time in between doing IT work, baking, and uh, normal family life that it's really hard to take time to listen through a whole symphony or something like that, which I did excessively in, um, in my teens. So I could have Mahler's fifth going in my head for hours on end, every single note. <laughs> They look fairly even. See, I think my composers, my favorite composers, go in in kind of waves. So bef just before COVID, uh, when I was still commuting four days, three days a week to London, um, I had a Bruckner phase. So I listened to Bruckner every morning for maybe half a year. <laughs> I need to trim them a little bit because, um, well, the middle sponges, I bake them in thin layers so they get a bit uneven. Uh, and another thing with listening is uh, the little time I have, I enjoy so much more playing myself. I play the trombone, I unzack but so early trombone. But what's been your favourite London Philharmonic Orchestra concert you've seen so far? Well, the one with the Bolero in Brighton. I know Bolero well, and everyone knows it well, and my wife said, no, I'm not going to listen to that. But then we really all were riveted, and there was no, not a single note in the whole Bolero that uh, let the tension go. It was building and building and building. Um, and I think that was very special, to, to keep the momentum going over the whole piece. Um, that felt really special. So what sort of music do you like to play on trombone? Oh, all sorts. Um, for a few years now I'm trying to get into jazz and I'm getting better at it. Cool. Um, so I'm playing in the local community big band called the Sussex Jazz Orchestra. The leader is a trombonist. Mark Bassi, and he is one of the nicest people you can imagine, and an excellent teacher. And you can't get by without playing solo. You, he puts you on the spot. If you don't want to, he puts you on the spot in a concert, and it's okay. It's always okay. I love to play early music, and the music I probably most enjoy of the early music is so, yeah the turn of the century, 1500, um, where there's still a lot of open fifths. That just gets me. But also early Baroque, or Mozart. I, at the time I performed a lot, I really enjoyed Mozart gigs, like um, C minor mass and Requiem. Excellent second trombone part in Mozart Requiem. It is. It is, I, I enjoyed that a couple of times. Don't tell the singers that it's actually written for trombone. So the trombone is the, yes. <laughs> the star of the show. But I also enjoy romantic music. I, even if there's only a few bars of trombone in it. I remember Debussy La Mer. I think it has 10 bars or so of trombone in it. But these bars, they just are the sparkle on the top of this blitzy wave in the sunshine, if you will. Sitting in a big orchestra and, and putting these crowning notes in is something uncomparable. For the 91st, yes, of course. 
<laughs> From 90 onwards every year uh, warrants a cake, doesn't it? Yes, please. <laughs>